I quit my job at Subway. And this didn't happen today. This actually happened over a year ago. But I've been so reluctant on making this video. And honestly, I've been a little afraid to make this video just because of what I think my community will say. But I know you guys are lovely people. So I'm going to explain the story literally from day one. So I worked at Subway as a teenager for my parents trying to help out, you know, help them meet ends meet. Just try to do my thing and like, you know, be a good son. And well, I started that job at 16 and four years later, by the age of 20, I was kind of in a place where I was like, huh, I truly don't enjoy this job. I actually hated it, if I'm being honest. Like every day I would wake up and I would dread going to the store and making sandwiches, but I still did it because it was a job and it was helping my parents at the time. And I also didn't want to go out and try to find my own like job. I don't know. It's better for me. It's better to work for my parents, but I was in a place where I really didn't enjoy the job. And then in 2020, I started posting content and I had one comment that said something along the lines of like, let me get a spicy Italian or whatever the sandwich was at the time. And I was in my subway uniform making like a really stupid little video. And I thought this was like one of the funniest comments I ever got. So I posted that video, not really thinking much of it. I literally made the guy's sandwich order and then I took a bite and rated it and it ended up getting like something like 2 million views. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I found a creative way, I guess, to make my job fun again through that. And so what I started doing, as most of you know, that have been along this journey is start posting videos of me working at the subway shop. And it was this really cool thing because it felt as though I was able to fall in love with my job again, the same way that I fell in love with it the first couple weeks I was at subway. And it was all thanks to you guys and like making these videos and actually like gave me a purpose to, uh, to kind of move forward with. But man, it felt like I was kind of just running away from the problem through making content. And at a certain point I was done. I, I couldn't do it anymore. I truly resented going to work every day. And for me, the fact that it was also a giant platform that I could share with millions of people through my work, it just added a lot of stress to something that I don't think honestly should be bringing me any stress at all. And so I had this battle in my mind going. And then one day I was reached out to by the corporate team. I'm not going to say what corporate team is in general, a corporate team. I don't want to get sued. Please don't sue me. And uh, they were basically asking me like, hey, can uh, can you make the sandwiches look better? Or for example, can you stop using so many gloves? Or for example, can you start highlighting the menu items that we want you to highlight? And I'm like, man, this is exactly what I wanted to avoid. And so, you know, I actually ended up cooperating and I started doing a couple of brand deals with the company and I was like maybe this is a uh, maybe this is a solution maybe like this can stem to another job and I was like maybe this can get me out of that like thought pattern of not enjoying the job or just like trying to run away but it only ended up making things worse for me if I'm being 100% honest it was almost as if I was finding every excuse in the book not to just leave which is what I wanted to do originally even if it meant like taking this really scary risk not knowing what type of content or if my audience would receive new content well not knowing what I do in the future and like honestly at the time I I was kind of worried for my parents too. I mean, their store was doing incredible. It was honestly doing the best it's ever done. And for some reason, I was still worried. I don't know why. But fast forward a couple months later, and here we are. I've now not worked at Subway for probably over a year. And I would say I'm I'm the happiest I've ever been. I mean, I would love to start posting more content for you guys. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm going to other stores and stuff. But it really paid off listening to my intuition and listening to actually what I want to do. Because I could have stayed at Subway. And I, honestly, that would have probably made me a lot of money. It probably would have been a really easy setup to just go in there every day, make sandwiches and make a video, go live and just jump out of there but it didn't like fulfill me it didn't fulfill me at all actually and i think in the long term that would have probably driven me to madness whereas right now i guess i'm suffering a little bit in the short term trying to figure out like what to do but i know in the long term that this was probably one of the best decisions i could have ever made i mean I don't see myself working at a subway in 10 years, if I'm being 100% honest. I don't think many people see themselves working a fast food job for longer than a few years. And so I guess that's the story of why I quit my job. If you enjoyed this story, please feel free to subscribe and like the video and leave a comment on where you think I should work. I love you. You're beautiful. Have a beautiful and blessed day and peace.